Scott, it's a good job that football is a game of 90 minutes and not 11 because TNS were 2-0 down. What were you thinking at that stage? No, I wasn't too happy, put it that way, you know, but 2-0 down, we, I know we can get five, six, seven goals, so it's not, um, it's not one where I was too concerned. I wasn't happy with the, the manner of the two goals because they're two mistakes, really. You know, an own, an own goal and one where we tried to clip it and play and, and play in the wrong areas and try and get out and sometimes you just got to deal with it and, and get out the pitch you know we don't I've told the players about overplaying and the new players you know it's not all about tippy tappy and in and around our, our goal line it's about getting up to these areas putting good balls in the box sliding balls through like we usually do and, and scoring goals so yeah I was, I was a little bit disappointed at half time told the players that but I said look you can win this 5-6-7 I said look don't worry about it no point me having a go at certain individuals that are going to make them play um, even worse than they already were. And it wasn't that we were playing too bad anyway, because we started really brightly. We started brightly the first five, six, seven minutes, whatever, um, and then they scored. They scored again, but no panic on my front, no. And before we move on to the, the positives, let's look at the, the clean sheet issue because that's now uh, seven games, if you include the visit to Stenhouse Muir on the bounce, that TNS has not kept a clean sheet. Yeah, it is. Um, but I'd, I'd substitute clean sheets for uh, points on the board and wins in leagues, league cups, sorry, or, or cup games. So, yeah, we need to work at it. It's, it's one where we're having to, to mix people around and, and probably play them when they're not quite right. But that's just through a few injuries, but injuries give other players a chance in the squad. Injuries give um, young boys that are in our academy match time in the Welsh Premier League and, and two have made their debuts today and done, done really well. So it, um, it's not always a, a sour note having injuries. It gives other people a chance. Other people come to me and say, well, you know, when am I going to get my chance? Well, there you go, go and show how good you are. And it was 2-2 uh, at the break. Whatever you said to the players in the dressing room certainly worked because within a couple of minutes we were 3-2 ahead. Yeah, and they came out and that's what they should be doing every uh, first minute of the game and every 46. You know, they should be chomping at the bit, they should be driving at teams, running teams into the ground. Sometimes we don't do it, but uh, I thought some of the play today was excellent. We moved the ball well, um, we made the right choices majority of the time after they had scored two goals. And um, yeah, overall, I have no complaints really. Um, apart from obviously the, the two that we've mentioned, but we've, we've talked about it and discussed that, and we'll and we'll uh, we'll put that right. And you've mentioned the two youngsters who came on in the second half, Josh Bailey and Ethan Short. That was a great experience for them, and they certainly didn't look out of place. Yeah, and I said to Ethan, you know, next time you get round the box, have a shot. You know, he's passed it back to the keeper there, and Ethan's uh, and and Josh has also had a chance to to shoot and whatever. So. Very good. I don't think he lost the ball when he came on, Ethan. And, uh, and Josh, comfortable as well, won his challenges and passed it simple. And like I've said to them, continue to do that and, and we'll hopefully get you some minutes in and around the squad. But it's up to them now. Um, the hard work starts when you when you make your first appearance of the first team. Uh, you know, the hard work's not been done. We've highlighted them as two players that are of, of quality and that can that can help us out. It's, it's up to them now to, to get more minutes, be on the bench, push some of the older players out of the team, if they can. And there is a fluidity at the New Saints, a definite pathway from the academy right through to the first team, if the players are good enough, of course. As an ex-player yourself at Park Hall, assistant manager and now manager, you've also been involved with the academy on a coaching basis as well. How important is that for you, having that perhaps extra insight into what goes on beneath the first team? Yeah, well, we've obviously got the, the pathway, but not just pathway for players to come into the into the first team. You've got ex-first team players now with the academy. So we've got the best of both worlds. We've got experience, we've got good young coaches. Um, we've got coaches that are very, um, you know, influential in what we do, speak to them, you know, we see them daily. So any young players that do do well will come and get the chance. Um, I think it's, it's vital, the likes of, you know, Sarge, Spens is there now. We've got Jason Brindley, and, and they just keep in contact with us, Simon Smith, and tell us you know, who needs a chance, and, and we respect their decision. And if they're saying they're doing well enough, then they'll always get a chance. And TNS sits pretty at the top of the table this evening, but the next game is a departure away from the JD Cymru Premier, and it's Bangor City in the Nathaniel MG Cup on Tuesday. Yeah, so 
we're out of one competition. This is the next one, in, you know, to to play, and it's uh, a good test against a, a decent banger side. So um, yeah, we'll have a look. Who needs games? Who needs minutes? And if we've got enough uh, players for a starting lineup. Scott, as always, thank you for your time and congratulations on the victory. Thanks, Ryan.